Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kat and today I'm going to take you guys to the Florida Keys and to Key Largo. We are going to check out John Pennenkamp Coral Reef State Park. So let's go. So John Pennenkamp State Park is only about an hour south of Miami. So depending on traffic and construction, it's about an hour's drive each way. So this is doable as a day trip. The park opens at eight o'clock in the morning and for two people per car, it's nine $9 dollars including taxes. So in 1963, John Pennenkamp Coral Reef State Park was the first undersea park in the United States. And the water here is more of a bluish greenish water and you can go snorkeling here offshore so you don't actually have to go on a boat and you can still see a lot of fishes and crabs and jellyfish, um, just different things in the water. I'll show you guys some in a little bit here. And the good thing about the admission fee is that if you keep your receipt, if you leave the park you can still come back at no extra charge so if you want to go out of the park to get some food or something and come back that's totally fine too there are two beaches here at john penn and camp state park i'll start by saying i wouldn't come here just to go to the beach and actually the florida keys are not that great on beaches in florida um, you might have heard this already but if you want like the white sandy miles and miles of sandy beaches don't come to the keys go somewhere else they do have beaches here of course but if you want that really postcard white sandy beaches i would go to a different spot other than john penn and camp there are two beaches here in John Penn and Camp State Park. The first one you come to is called Cannon Beach. And it's called Cannon Beach because there are these interesting historical artifacts that they excavated from an old English warship. So these are cannons from that excavation. If you look closely, you will see that there is a crown emblem on this, which is kind of interesting. So this is the first beach. It's the bigger one. And there are trees on the edges here. I'll be honest with you guys, if you are looking for laying on the beach all day on you know just miles of white sandy beaches and you know having the ocean right there this is not the place for that i have other recommendations in the keys for that but this would not be it but i will say john penn and camp state park is good for snorkeling and it's also very good because it's the closest to miami and the most doable so let me just show you around the different places here the other beach here is called the Far Beach. So yes, it is a little further away. It's not too far away. It's just across from this little bridge here and it's a much smaller beach. The parking lot is actually bigger than the beach itself. This is much more secluded. When I went there, there was only like two people on the beach. It was just this couple. That was it. So you have the whole place to yourself if you want that. They do have more palm trees here on this beach, which I liked, but it was a little too quiet for me because of these signs. So at John Penn Camp State Park, you will see these posted signs to watch out for alligators. We didn't see any when we were here, thankfully, but it is a sign here, so do be aware of that. And honestly, on Cannon Beach, the first one, the bigger one, I felt totally safe because it was wide open and there were a lot of people, kids. We actually saw a field trip of kids here. So that's the thing with Cannon Beach. I would choose that over Far Beach because Far Beach seems more secluded and maybe more likely that you will see an alligator I don't know but here you go here's the other beach so you can check this out as well one of the things I liked about John Penn and Camp is that the beach here the cannon beach it was really friendly for beginner swimmers and for little kids for example if you want to go snorkeling but you don't want to go on a boat um, if you are a beginner swimmer and you don't want to go too far out this is a really good starting point because it is really shallow you can totally walk out a pretty far distance and see a lot of things there's no current here and i think it's because it's more of like a lagoon type thing so and like bahia honda state park which i covered in this video so Bahia Honda had a very noticeable current that if you're not careful it could take you somewhere you don't want to go but with John Pennant Camp it was totally calm and the only time that there was any like waves or movement are from the boats and they're actually driving you to the shore so you're not being carried out to sea or anything you're actually getting closer to the shore because you know the the waves and the boats are 
you know, taking you to the shore. So I feel like this is a much safer beach if you are concerned about swimming and you can still see a lot of things just from snorkeling offshore. So this is a really great spot for that. Once again, the water here is more of a greenish water. It reminded me of river water, but you can still see a lot. It was still clear enough where I can see my feet if I was, you know, in water. We saw a lot of different fishes here and a crab and a jellyfish, but I didn't take very good pictures of them. Here's one of them. Thought it was a turtle at first, but it was a, it looked like a mushroom to me, but I don't know what this is, but it was really cool. So all along John Pennekamp State Park, you will see different picnic tables, really nice areas where you can eat and be in the shade. They had nice amenities, like a really nice aquarium inside the visitor center. They have nice bathrooms with showers and changing rooms. And they also have a food truck as well. And of course they have kayak rentals and snorkeling tours. So you can totally do that here as well. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our little tour. I would recommend this if you are trying to do a day trip from Miami and you wanna do some snorkeling in the Keys. This is really good because it's the closest one and you can see some really good fishes here. Of course, they have snorkeling tours, so you can totally do that as well. But if you don't wanna go on a boat, you can still see different creatures here just offshore. And once again, it's good for beginner swimmers, which I liked. And the good thing about John Penn and Camp State Park is that there are a lot lot of really good restaurants really close by so once again if you want to go and get some really good food and come back you can totally do that with your receipt and so you can just have best of both worlds so i hoped this video helped if you like this information if this helped you please give it a thumbs up and i'm going to talk more about the florida keys and giving you tips and vacation guides so if you want to see more please subscribe and stay tuned